Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a realistic working saw in your very own Minecraft world. And yes, it actually works. You'll be able to chuck logs at this thing. It'll cut them up and spit planks right back at you. Plus, you don't need any mods or add-ons. So this will work on pretty much anything. Whether you're on an iPad, iPhone, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC, it ain't matter because you're going to be able to build this. So if you're looking forward to it, guys, leave a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you are on the new channel, as always, hit that subscribe button. And you know what? Why not hit the little bell icon to ling ding ding as well so you can get the coolest builds before any of your friends do and then you can show off to all of them and show how much of a build master you are. But anyway guys, this is enough of me talking. Let's just get straight into this soup. <laughs> Now, first off, we need to clear a space to build our saw. Now, you can go bigger, but this is the minimum space you will need. A 7x9 clearing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 9 across this way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then it needs to be 3 deep. As you guys can see, I have already dug out here. So, we're just going to go ahead and clear out the rest of this ground. Cool, we've cleared out our 7x9 space we need, and it is at least 3 deep as so. You can go deeper if you need a bit more room, but this should definitely give you enough to work with. Now, technically you guys can build the floor out of whatever you want, it doesn't contribute to the saw in any way. But I always feel like a saw would be in like a workshop type thing, so for my floor guys, I'm going to use a barrel, some hay bales, some cracked stone bricks, some polished andesite, and some spruce wood planks. So you guys can build the same floor as me, or you can build your own. It's up to you. So first off, we're going to just go ahead and coat the entire floor in barrels. So the floor kind of looks like a workshop workhouse type thing. However, it's really boring and bland. So now we're going to spruce it up using our hay bales, cracked stone bricks, polished andesite, and spruce wood planks. There we go, now our floor actually looks like a workshop. So as you guys can see, I've kind of dispersed the blocks pretty randomly. I've also changed the directions of the barrels facing upwards, facing sideways, that kind of thing. I also ended up using a bit of spruce stripped log, which I didn't originally have. I just think that kind of adds a bit more of a darker color to it. I really like that. But you may notice that I've only used the hay bales near the center. That's because it's supposed to look like wood chips or wood shavings that's come off the wood because we're actually going to put the saw right in the center here. So only use hay bales where you're planning on putting the saw. All right, so now that we've built the floor, it's time to actually build this thing. Now to build our saw, you're going to need four polished andesite stairs, seven smooth stone slabs, four hoppers, one dispenser, two stone cutters, two campfires, some splash water bottles, two grindstones, 20 iron trap doors, two die rope walls, and three jungle trap doors. All right, let's get started. So first up, you want to go ahead and place an upside down stair like so in one of the corners for your build. Then you're going to leave one block space and place another one of these upside down stairs like so. Then you're going to come from your first stair here, you're going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we're going to place another upside down stair. And you guessed it, and you're going to come leave a gap here and place another upside. Can I do it? Can I? Why can't? Please, please let me place. Okay, well, I, I've never failed so hard in my life. There we go, guys. I finally got the upside down stair. So these are the four corners of our saw. Oh, I wish I could afford EY Stream merch. Didn't you hear? All the merch is on sale until Christmas. I don't even have enough money to buy arms. I still can't afford it. Then just ask your parents to get you some for Christmas. Also, you might want to see a doctor about those arms. And what if my parents don't want to buy a beautiful EY Stream shirt or hoodie because I already have clothes? Then ask for a water bottle or pencil case to use at school. And there are even stickers and wristbands for super cheap. Wow, those look epic. Where can I buy them? Just click the link in the description below. And be quick, go ask your parents now before we sell out and you miss out. Then we're going to grab our smooth stone slabs and we're going to place one here, one here, one here. Nope, not that. One here and one here, each coming off the ends of our stair blocks. 
Then we're going to continue placing. We're going to place one between these two just here. And we're going to place another one just between these two here. And then finally, one last one right at the end. I know it looks really strange right now, guys, but hang with me. Then we're going to grab our hoppers here, guys. And right in the center where we've left this gap, where this hay bale is, you're going to dig down. Now, this is going to be a little complicated. For now, we're just going to place a random block here. You're going to place a hopper coming off that. Then you're going to go ahead and crouch like so. Place another hopper on top of that. Place another hopper on top of that. And then going into the side of this hopper, you're going to place one more hopper. Jump onto the other side. Crouch again. And then place another hopper going into that center hopper. Now, this looks a little strange at the moment. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. But this will actually help us later in the video when we're actually going to make this saw functional. So make sure this is a very important step to get right. Once that's done, guys, we're going to grab our dispenser and you're going to place it facing upwards in this hole out the back. Then grab your two stone cutters and you're not going to cover the dispenser. You're going to come one block in front here and we're going to place one like that, except at the moment, the saw is going the wrong way. So stand like this, place one saw, then go ahead and crouch like I am at the moment. Place a saw on top of this hopper and then right in front of our two saws here, we're going to place two campfires like so. It's a little weird at the moment because most saws don't have fire coming out of them. So we're going to throw our splash water bottles at our campfire. That's going to put them out. And so now these look like little rails where, you know, the logs would be put on top of and then the logs would roll into the saw and get chopped like into two halves uh, and then go into this dispenser here. So it looks legit. It just looks a little strange at the moment. So hang with me. Then we're going to grab our two grindstones and in the corner with our dispenser, we're going to place each of these facing uh, horizontally like so. And then you want to grab your iron trap doors. This is going to take a bit uh, of time. So you're going to place one, two, three, four. Then you're going to crouch like so and place your fifth one coming off the end here. And you're going to place another one, once again crouching, coming off the side of the grindstone like that. Then do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and one right at the end. Okay, looking pretty good. Now we're just going to give it a little bit of a roof. So let's go ahead and grab our dire walls and jungle trap doors. We're going to place one, two, like so, on top of our grindstones. Then you're going to grab your iron trapdoors once again, and we're going to go one, two, three. Do the exact same thing on the other side. One, two, three. And you guessed it, we're going to use our juggled trapdoors right in the center here. One, two, three. And voila! Check that out, guys. This is our saw design. Now, alone, this actually looks pretty good. Like, I would just have this as a decorative piece in my world somewhere. Uh, medieval builds especially. This looks really, really nice. It just looks super high class. Oh, forgot one thing. We're going to place an iron trapdoor on the dispenser right at the back there. But yeah, all around, this build looks mwah. But what if it actually worked? That's a whole nother story. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. Now, to make this bad boy actually work, we're going to need some redstone. So, first off, guys, we're going to need some sort of block that you can see easily. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use white concrete. Then, we're going to need two chests, two redstone comparators, four redstone repeaters, two torches, and five redstone dust. All right. Now, in case you hadn't guessed, we're not building this above ground. Let's go ahead and smash our way underneath here where we left this space open. All right, now that I have night vision and I can actually see this area without torches, let's do this redstone. First off, we can get rid of this stair we placed here earlier. I'm going to place down a double chest right under our hopper. Then grab out whatever random block you chose. And we're going to go to the left of our chest here and place one, two, three. And you need to dig out one more into the wall here so you can do four blocks long. Then go ahead and do the same thing coming back. One, two, three, four. But you want to place a fifth block right in front of our hopper like so. Then on this first block coming off our chest, we're going to place another concrete block or whatever you're using. Then you want to place another block to the right of that, place a block on top of it, and destroy out this bottom block like so. Then you're going to destroy the block directly above your head when you're standing next to it, like that. As you guys can see, this lines up really nicely with our dispenser. How convenient. Okay, so we're going to destroy the hay bale right underneath our dispenser here. And this is going to be important to actually make this whole thing work. All right, let's start placing down our redstone now. So first off, you want to grab your comparator here, guys. And coming off your hopper, you're going to place the two large prongs facing towards the hopper and the little one coming off. Then you're going to place a redstone repeater and then another redstone comparator. But this time you want to click it so it goes into subtract mode and this little light lights up. Then we're going to need our redstone dust, which 
disappeared? Give me a sec. I swear I had it earlier, but it's back now. All right, so let's grab our redstone dust and you want to wrap this around the side of our comparator like so. Then we're going to place one repeater, two repeater, and then this second repeater here, you want to put on three tick delay. So one, one, two, three, four. Wait, did I count that wrong? Four tick delay, sorry. <laughs> then we're going to place a repeater going into this block down here with no ticks. And you're going to place a redstone piece of redstone connecting up to our little thing over here. Then you want to grab your redstone torch and we're going to place this on the right hand side of this block. And then in this space underneath the dispenser, we're going to place another redstone torch and it should turn off. If it doesn't turn off, you've done something wrong. All right, so this is actually all the redstone we need to make this machine work. All you need to do now is grab a bunch of wood planks. So let's just grab, you know, just an absolute ton of oak wood planks here. Chuck them into your dispenser. Bang, 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 there we go. Fill that up. You can fill this hole up now. And now when you go ahead and we'll just grab, let's say, some oak logs here. Jump over to your beautiful saw and go ahead, chuck them on your saw like so. Look at that. It cuts them up and gives you wood. That's pretty epic. I mean, it literally works already. You chuck your oak logs onto the saw. It cuts them up and turns them into planks. And you just go ahead and pick them up here right at the back. However... It's kind of boring at the moment. That's right, guys. There is one extra step to make this thing super, super epic. Like, really epic. Like, you will actually see your wood getting cut in real time. However, we need a very special block for it. It's called a command block. To get yourself one of these, you want to type in slash give space at P space. And you're going to go command underscore block. Hit enter and oh, check this out, guys. We've got ourselves a beautiful command block. Now we're going to jump back down underground here where we were building. Now you may have noticed when we were building, these redstone repeaters don't go into anything. How perfect that there is a spot right here for a command block. So what we're actually going to do now, guys, is break this redstone repeater and switch it out for some redstone dust. Then we're going to put this back on one tick. And then on this end block here, we're going to place another redstone repeater and put this on one, two, three, four ticks like so. Then, coming right off the repeater here, guys, you're going to place your command block. Open it up, set it to repeat, need redstone, and unconditional. Inside the command out, uh, input here, guys, you want to type in summon, space, evocation, underscore, fang, like that. And then we're going to need some coordinates. So to get these, guys, you want to open up your settings menu here. Go to settings, then go to game, and you want to scroll down to where it says here, show coordinates, and turn that on. Now you can see we've got some numbers in the top left-hand corner. So what we're going to do is come right up here to the top, and what you guys want to do is actually stand on top of this saw. Normally, I would not recommend standing on top of a saw, but just for this video, you want to stand on top of this saw that is closest to the dispenser. Then you want to go ahead and write down the numbers that are on your screen. They will be different to mine. So mine in this case is 103. Uh, then we've got 65. Uh, then we've got 61. Okay, so write those down either on a piece of paper or type them like I have. Then we're going to jump down underground here. Inside our command block, guys, we're going to write out these numbers. So for me, it was 103, 65, 61. So 103, then you want to do space, 65, space, 61. Remember, these numbers will be different for you. You need to write in the numbers when you're standing on the saw and not my numbers. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. All right, so we can leave our command block now. Let's jump up to the surface and our build is complete. So what we're going to do is chuck this grass block in our inventory. Let's grab ourselves some logs to cut up. Oh, one last thing before I show you it all working. You need to open up chat, type in slash game rule space command block output space false and hit enter that'll mean that your screen won't be filled with a bunch of text when this machine is working all right it's done let's test this out guys so you know you just mind in your own business like la -da 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 -da. i need to cut my wood and then you come over to our working saw come up to it here chuck your wood on the blades and boom check that out guys it actually comes out cuts up your wood and if we jump around here, we got ourselves some beautiful wood planks. So we can go ahead and you can actually chuck as many logs as you want on this thing. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and just spam logs onto it. As you guys can see, it'll just keep cutting them up for you. Beautiful. And if you come around here, you can pick up all your planks 
And voila, guys, check it out. You got yourselves a working store of Minecraft. It even works from the other side as well. So you can go ahead and chuck logs on this side. And boom, check that out, guys. It cuts up the wood for you. And voila, you have yourself some oak wood planks. If this is not the coolest and classiest and fanciest way to cut up your wood, I really don't know what is. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, learning how you can make your very own working saw in Minecraft. Um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more builds like this. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, anyway, stream and Mr. Kitty Cat. Okay, Mr. Mini, Mr. Kitty Cat left me alone. Miss, anyway, stream and Mr. Horse out. Bye.